Hey, what's up? Hello. We're back with another episode of Coffee and Creepy. But today, we're drinking an iced Coke <laughs> because it's actually two o'clock in the morning and I don't need iced coffee at two o'clock in the morning. And I was really feeling a really cold Coke, Salem. I think this is the first time she's been on this channel, maybe. On tonight's episode of Coffee and Creepy, I want to talk about something really freaking creepy and really weird. As you can see by the title, I want to talk about the 28 poltergeist fires. Have you heard of them? If you have not, we're going to go into the history of the home before and then the event of the 28 fires that they experienced all of that. Now I did film about this on TikTok. If you do not follow me on TikTok, I actually have started doing paranormal over there in just short form. And I'll put my TikTok right here if you want to go and follow me. I did not get into the history and everything over there because I didn't want to make it super long. But over here, we're going to talk about the history of the house because it could have had something to do with these mysterious fires or maybe it didn't. I'll let you be the judge at the end of the video. So this story takes place in Odin, Indiana. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It, it looks like that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> so this house that we're going to be talking about today is a two-story house on a farm. It was built in the 1800s. Um, first built and owned by Marshall Ketchum. He married a woman named Margaret. They had two children that are on record, but it said that they had more. Now, it is said that the Ketchum family actually died in that home of burning fever, all of them. After this, the house was sold to what they call a spiritualist. This man was a spiritualist. Um, his name was Andrew Wickle. I guess he called himself a spiritualist. So he lost, he actually lost his child in a hunting accident. It seems that not good things happen in this home or on this land already. It's a bad start. It said that this spiritualist communicated with the dead as well as his child that was killed. So after this, a family moves into the home and this is the Hackler family. This is the family that experienced these 28 fires. So the Hackler family lives in this house for 10 years, with zero incident. Everything's fine, everything's normal. Until one summer. On June 21st in 1941, it's about 8 a.m. And it's said that the oldest child starts smelling smoke. So they go and they're trying to figure out where is this smoke smell coming from? They find it upstairs in a random bedroom and it is a strip of wallpaper, just a strip of wallpaper and it's just on fire. Now they call the, they call the fire department. The fire department comes out there and they're like, oh, maybe it started in the wall. There could be like an old faulty chimney. So they bust in the wall there's nothing in there. There's not even fire damage inside the wall. It is literally just the wallpaper that is on fire. So they get that put out and not minutes after the firemen get back to the station, Mrs. Hackler is calling again because a mattress in another room is on fire. A mattress is just randomly burst into flames. Also take note of the fact that this home was built in the 1800s. There was no electricity in this home. 
So they went ahead and ruled out electri an electric fire because there's no wiring in this home. There's not even light poles nearby. Fires were literally starting everywhere at this point. Um, Mr. Hackler's overalls were hanging on the back of a door. They burst into flames. A firefighter noticed a book like with thick smoke pouring out of it and he opened it up and it was smoldering on the inside and had been burning. <laughs> just the inside of a book, just burning. Another fire broke out on the other side of the house. I believe between the bottom of the window and the floor, it was like a fire there. Um, they again believed, okay, maybe it's something behind the wall, but again, tore into the wall, no fire damage, nothing, just the wall, the outside of the wall, the wallpaper on fire. Between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., they had extinguished nine fires. Nine. One fire started in a desk drawer. <laughs> now, at this point, some nearby neighbors are like, what is happening? Why, why has the fire department been coming in here all day? Um, so two neighbor women came over and they're they said like if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes I'd think you were lying basically they watched a set of curtains just burst into flames not damaging the window coverings the, the the blinds the shades they call them I'm assuming they're blinds not the wall just the curtains and then another set of curtains just burst into flames right in front of their faces in another bedroom a paper divider that had been placed between the springs and the mattress burst into flames. The bed burned to ashes within seconds. They said it was as if invisible hands were just starting fires everywhere. Just like lighting matches all through the house. Another neighbor said the devil was in that house, which I mean, can you blame her for thinking that? A firefighter was taking a break and a calendar burst into flames. A freaking calendar. But it did no, it was hanging up on the wall and it did no damage to the wallpaper underneath it. All in all, they had brought in over a hundred firefighters. They had to call for backup from a neighboring town because it was just so insane trying to put out all the fires and keep up with them. An hour before midnight, they extinguished the last fire, and that was the 28th fire in that house of the day. At this point, the family was obviously too scared to sleep in the house, so they took what was remaining of their beds and moved them outside and literally slept outside. I mean, but obviously, I wouldn't either. I would not sleep in the house. I guess no more fires started after that. Um, the Indiana State fire marshal said that it was an absolute mystery and the case was not ever solved. Obviously people had their theories like maybe gas, but the most common theories, which I agree with, were either that it's cursed, it was poltergeist, or that it had something to do with the five deaths from burning fever in that home in the 1800s. I'm thinking poltergeist because if you think about it, that's what they do. I mean, they just tear shit up. Poltergeists are known for doing that. And it really, I think 28 poltergeist fires are, I think that's the best explanation because like one of the neighbors said, it was as if invisible hands were just lighting matches everywhere. Just how do you explain the inside of a closed book smoldering on fire even if there was gas what what ignited inside of a book you know it's just you can't explain that i'm i don't agree with the gas theory i think it was poltergeist so what do you think it was do you think there's a logical explanation for 28 freaking fires all over this house or do you think that it was poltergeist or that the home or land was cursed i mean it was built in the 1800s there's no telling what went on on that property or in that house. Um, we don't know what the man who claimed to be a spiritualist was doing. What if he was summoning things? You, we just don't know. There's just no logical explanation for 28 fires in a home 
in the manner that they happened. And these, you can look it up, they're real articles. This actually happened. So yeah, what are your thoughts? Leave it below in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy my content, please be sure to like and share, subscribe, go follow me on TikTok, and um, don't forget to stay creepy. Bye.